Hey everybody, this is Cameron from Jay Racenstein. I am here with uh, Joshua Corey, a window cleaner here in Southern California, and uh, we are out today in Marina Del Rey, and it's, believe it or not, uh, mid-December right now, and I'm looking at one of the most beautiful blue oceans you've seen in a long time. And we're going to be here today with Joshua working on using the water-fed pole on this house behind me, and he is going to demonstrate technique on how to use the water-fed pole and the pure water to clean the glass, to rinse it, to deal with any challenges, and uh, so hope you enjoy it. One of the most important things to be concerned about in cleaning windows with water-fed pole is your top edge. Uh, the reason being is that the frame can sometimes hold on to dirt and salt, uh, well, ocean front salt, and you'll get runs coming down. So you start off by giving the top edge a really good scrub make sure you get it nice and wet and then you have to let it drain for a while until all the water is drained down at least a couple inches onto the glass and then you can uh, re-rinse from there but right there that's the tops and the edges are, are your Achilles heel on some jobs when you first clean them with water pit you find that there's a training period where the first couple of times you do it, it might take a little extra work getting the, getting the edges all cleaned out of all the dirt Now that we have a little bit of a dry area just below the top edge of the glass, you can safely rinse across the top and you know you've got nothing but pure water left on the glass. Here we have another window. Once again, starting off with the top edge, making sure that gets nice and clean. Give that a good scrub. on some glass partitions where we have a subframe. So it's about the same height of a window, but there are four separate parts to it, as you can see right there. Now when you're doing partitions, you tend to get a little bit of a drainage issue coming from one pane down to the next. So you have to let the top pane completely drain before rinsing below that frame. Just like working the top edges, it's the same concept. Now, I found that a lot of jobs after you've cleaned them a couple of times and they've gotten well trained into the water fed pole, what you find is you don't even have to worry about that issue. You can just go ahead and scrub to your heart's content. It's just like doing one large pane of glass with a little bit of scrubbing on the mid frames. Okay. Especially once you've done a job a couple of times, if you do regular maintenance, you'll find that as much time as I'm spending on this paint right here is all it takes. Just a little scrub, a little rinse, and you're good to go. One of my favorite add-ons for the water-fed poles is an extra gooseneck. Right here we have a little bit of a ledge, more than you usually get. And it puts you a bit far away from the glass. So if you put an extra gooseneck on there, you can angle the brush exactly how you want it, you can get down to the very bottom pane, bottom of the pane of glass without any problems and saves you from having to pull a ladder out for a difficult window. Alright, here we are doing the windows over on the other side. Nice, quick, easy scrub. This being a monthly account, it's just absolutely ideal. Not only is it easier, it's just so quick. That can either give you flexibility in pricing or just up your profit that much more. There's a time when I used to do a lot more ladder work, but the more I use the water fed poles, I found that it's just so much easier on the body that at the end of the day, you end up being far more relaxed, less worn out, and go on and enjoy the rest of your day instead of having to take a nap. Uh, we've got beautiful weather here today, so these are draining real nicely. So I'll go ahead and just demonstrate the process of uh, letting one frame drain before moving down to the next pane if you need to do it. So what I'll usually do is start 
on the, on the windows with the partitions and do the top pane, let it drain for a while, then start working on a big pane, maybe move over another window and double back when I see that the frame has stopped dripping from this upper window down to the lower one. All right, looks like this frame is dried. So we can go ahead and rinse down below, get this next window finished up. And while that's draining, I'll go ahead and get this one scrubbed real quick. I'll rewrite that in a minute. Here's another great example of uh, the value of a water-fed pole. Here we've got a high window and many obstacles down below. We've got a gate, we've got planter boxes, we've got a lower railing, and there's no way to really get a ladder safely in this position. So for this window, you basically need to have a water-fed pole. Now it's way off to the left, so I'd say that's about 8 feet off to my left, so it takes a little bit more muscle, but especially with the new carbon fiber poles, they don't weigh that much, and here we're up about 33 feet, and I can easily do this window off to the side. And what you find is it takes a little bit more upper body strength, so you kind of hold the pole in a more rigid position, do shorter strokes maybe use the legs a little bit more. Saves a little bit of wear and tear on the upper body. Now, when you're working at a height, the easiest way to rinse a window is to just raise the edge of the brush. As you can see, one of the water jets is going directly onto the glass. Even down here, you can see exactly where the water is going. And when you get a little experience, you can get that stream of water to go within an inch of the top edge for your final rinse, giving you the best quality you can. Here you go, another window, nice tall thin one, making sure to get the top edge real good. Then sometimes on a tall window you'll get a little bit of salt coming off the edges as well, so I like to give those a good scrub in the beginning so that gets a chance to run off before the final rinse do get some nice flex in these poles so if you've got a bit of architecture in the way you can bend the pole to get in in tight spaces or if you have to go over you can use the flex of the pole like that as well definitely a lifesaver not just in the hard work but you can save your life no chance to fall off a ladder like this easier than putting all the strength into your arms and doing it that way. Uh, this is one of the first moves you learn is walking into the window and stepping back. Here I'm holding my hands nice and close together, giving me the extra reach. Stepping back a little bit as I go, getting to the getting down lower. One nice thing about standing back far is that you don't really have to put as much energy into the brush. You don't have to force the pole down. You just let the weight of the pole do all the work for you. Another great feature of buying one of the extra long goosenecks is if you use your oldest, shorter gooseneck long with it, you can do multiple angles. Uh, where this comes in handy is doing tops of garden box windows, skylights from down below. And having an angle like this, it allows you to get the brush bristles properly on the surface so you can scrub them, because of course the skylights need the scrubbing. And without the extra gooseneck, otherwise you're coming 
at an angle like that and you're just using the edges of the bristles and it just doesn't do a very good job not to mention the water jets spray too far up on the frame so it's hard to get a proper rinse so here we'll show how this works okay here we are doing the top of the skylight now once again hit the top edge first give it a nice scrub Uh, given the angle of the glass, we'll have to let this one take a little extra time to drain on top because uh, not being vertical, the water just doesn't uh, drain quite as quickly. Not to mention you don't get too good of a view of what you're doing here. Well, I don't. You may be there. All right. Got a nice good scrub on that pane. Moving on to the next. Let that one drain a little bit. Have to double check in a little bit. Make sure the top is dried. Maybe re-rinse it again. But that's basically how that goes. Another great add-on for your water-fed pole system is uh, the small brass quick connects that you can get at J-Ray Sistine. They're very easy to put on and take off. I've not had these ones leak once, and I've been using these brass quick connects for about three years now. Um, very durable. They don't snag on bushes or uh, on corners as easily as your standard hose quick connects. And you can also add a, a very easy on-off valve that you easy to use one-handed. Um, definitely one of my favorite parts to my whole hose setup is this on-off valve and the brass quick connects. Uh, I've got several pieces of extension hose, 50 foot, 100 foot, when I need the extra length, and just unwind them, hook them up, good to go. No snags, no leaks. Well, that wraps up our uh, water-fed pole technique video shot today with Joshua here. Josh, I want to thank you so much for helping us out today. You did a wonderful job. and hey, You're welcome. This homeowner is going to be very happy when he comes home today. And uh, meanwhile, i got to tell you, you have a very, very difficult place to work. <laughs> uh, a lot of guys around the country are going to be looking at this as they're digging out snow. And it is December, mind you, right now. And uh, So thanks again, and hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.